Hi guys, we're at Lives a Breeze, and this is our tour pranks. We're actually in this band used to being more pranked than pranking, <laughs> but the as prankies. far as actual pranks, if you want to roll with these yourselves, I did do these in my last band, um, peanut buttering. So we, uh, if it's the fall, the nice season of fall, much better than the winter. Absolutely get a shit ton of peanut butter and leaves and make sure that you make some extremely obscene words on the other touring band's van when you do the prank so that way the leaves can't get off <laughs> and we did this to one band our good friends in thoughts in reverse on a past tour who even in, the, in this band we've actually toured with too and we peanut buttered the holy shit out of their van and obviously they didn't really have a way to get it off <laughs> without taking it to some kind of car wash that they probably would have to end up going through about 10,000 fucking times and uh, in that situation <laughs> they ended up getting pulled over by a cop the only reason we ended up felt bad, feeling bad about that situation was just because they had like a bunch of missing taillights and shit and because we peanut butter the van and it said fuck on the windshield and uh, the cop didn't really let them leave the state until they waited in an auto zone parking lot to get that shit fixed in the morning so it kind of felt bad about that also there was a band called Through Arteries that we once uh, went to a Petco and got a shit ton of crickets that are meant to be food for, I don't know, snakes, snakes, snakes or monkeys or some shit like that. Monkeys. <laughs> and then uh, we ended up, you know, when they went outside to smoke or do some other crap like that, we ended up uh, cricketing their entire merch setup. So when they'd be, you know, lifting to get shirts for fans at the show, the fans are getting shirts with just kind of littered with crickets because we kind of dropped about like a 150 crickets in there That's... in their merch setup. So... After that, I think karma hit us hard because now that I'm in this band, we kind of get pranked all the time. Yeah. Um, so we kind of, in turn, just transition those pranks into our merch guy and kind of just make his life a living fucking hell. I have another little prank that I pulled on my... It was actually with an internal prank from my old band. Uh, <clears throat> but and you guys can try this at home. This is a very, very tested, true idea. So w what I decided to do was, with my guitarist... I went on Craigslist and I decided to post on uh, the free section of Craigslist uh, and I decided to post uh, an ad that said free baby monkey. I posted free baby monkey and so I, I you pretty much just give a really a, a true sob story if you will about, I don't know, uh, a realistic monkey that you can own and, uh, and then I decided to just put serious inquiries only and I decided to put his phone number in the ad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a Lizard Breeze Pranks. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm-hmm.